In the next episode, Madam Odious berated Repcon for letting the Rangers go and losing the Ninja Stars, but Repcon cast her aside and said he wants to have fun. Nobody disturbs him while he takes a nap. Madam Odious rolls her eyes at his attitude and sends out the Neo Nylox of the day to lure the Rangers out. The Rangers tried training with Ninja Elemental attacks led by Adam and assisted by Brody. During the training, Sarah brought up that they need a team leader. All four Rangers nominated Brody since he has been in the dimension for longer than all of them and has been practicing Ninja Steel magic for a long period of time. However, Brody himself feels uncomfortable about it and left the training. Sarah asked Adam, why is Brody like that? Adam explained Brody feels demoralized by Repcon's level overshadowing his abilities and he feels very unworthy. Preston decides to find a way to help Brody. While training, they were alerted by Redbot. There was a monster attack. So the Rangers left their training and faced the monster. Brotherhood between Preston and Brody was established. Brody is strong and is a good teacher, but lacks leadership and confidence. Preston tries to guide him. Preston encouraged Brody to lead. The other Rangers also encouraged Finally, Brody steps into the bigger shoes of being a team leader, and together they use elemental stars to take down the monster of the day. Ripcom watches from afar, glad to see how stronger Brody really was, despite what happened a few episodes ago. Other than training and fighting, the Rangers don't just hang around Adam's command base and train. Adam used his ninja powers and turned the command base into a food truck. On the outside, it looks like a regular food truck, but in the interior, it's basically the command base. Boom and Adam drive around the town on his food truck. Even though the team is living on an unknown planet, they make a living through flipping burgers and selling hot dogs. The truck is called Lightning Fast Food. We're also introduced to a cowboy who has his brain scrambled. He is a recurring customer. He loves hamburgers so much he made a burger phone. His name is called Levin. We don't see much of him because he travels a lot by himself, finding inspiration to write songs. The rangers are allowed to go out and live their lives, such as shopping and being teenagers. Sometimes they also do chores like buying groceries. In one episode, Haley was planning to do some cooking since she would like to spice things up for the rangers' taste buds. She gave the rangers a list of ingredients that she has researched on. Haley is shown to be very kind and accommodating, thinking about the nutritional value and preferences of everyone, slowly crawling out of her shy shell. As the rest of the group went grocery shopping, Haley did not go shopping because Adam needs her help to create a new Zord. With the first ninja star they had collected from the first episode, Sarah brought up an idea to make a new Zord based on Adam's first Zord, which is the Macedon Lion Thunder Zord. Sarah had tried but was unable to do so, thus she recommended Haley to Adam. To Haley's surprise, Sarah has always acted all high and mighty. She didn't know Sarah had a humble side and feels honored. Adam has been trying to create his own Zord, but Adam's willpower was not strong enough. Adam was able to use his frog coin to create Frog Blaster, but was not creative enough to make a Zord. Adam asked Haley's help since her personal Zord is an animal. She tried to help Adam and used her childhood memory of the Macedon Zord. Boom tried to help, but is more focused on the technical side than the spiritual side. Although Boom did say he has been practicing in focusing his animal spirit through Pai Shua. With Adam's animal spirit and Haley's power, the ninja star became Green Mammoth Sword. To Haley's disappointment, the Green Mammoth Sword looks nothing like what he remembered. Adam thinks the new Zord looks quite flashy. When returning from buying groceries, the Rangers and Redbot encountered Ripcon holding a ninja star to the Rangers' surprise. Ripcon boasted that no four Rangers could take down a Neo Nylock. Calvin then said, We may not have enough Rangers, but we have five members right now who can fight. Redbot then whispers to Calvin, I cannot fight. When I'm big, all my actions are actually telekinetically controlled by Brody. But right now, since Brody's fighting, he can't concentrate. As expected, the four Rangers were no match against Neo Nyla. Haley was asked to help the Rangers. Ripcon demanded to fight one on one with Brody and mocked that Brody is a sniveling coward for hiding behind backup. Brody tried to rush in by himself, but his team pulled him back and shielded him away from Ripcon. Annoyed, Ripcon summoned a Neo Mooger to create a monster of the day, creating a spider nylock. Ripcon told the spider monster to suck away the rangers except for the red one so he can have his fun with Brody in one one on one duel. But the monster ended up sucking up Brody into its stomach. To Ripcon's disappointment, he tells the monsters to spit up Brody, but the monster couldn't. Yawning, Ripcon told the rangers to have fun and destroy the monsters so he can battle Brody another day as he walks out. He passes by Haley, who entered the scene, and he lazily told her what happened while leaving. As the four are going into a stalemate, Sarah tries to form a plan to save Brody. Since all their elemental attacks aren't as powerful, she asks Preston to use his magic to amplify their attacks. They mix wind and fire attack which burns the monster up in a fire tornado. Sarah said she believes Brody is a true team player. If she notices the heat, he will use water attack. 
Indeed, Brody notices the heat and recognizes the elemental attack. Brody uses water attack. The cold from the water and heat from the fire tornado cracked open the spider monster. They all destroyed the monster together. When the second life kicked in, they summoned their swords, but the swords were tied up by the spider's strings. Haley remembering Adam's newly channeled green mammoth spirit, but her hands are tied, so she can't summon it. She passed the ninja star to Brody so he can summon it instead. The green mammoth sword sucked away all the webbings and rescued the ranger and freed the swords. The rangers created the ninja mega mammoth sword and defeated the monster. Returning back to the base, the team asked if it's possible to help and make more auxiliary swords like the green mammoth sword. But Adam's creativity is not strong enough as he is more used to summoning zords he has created before. Thus, creating auxiliary zords will be exhausting. While the rangers were fighting the ninja mega mammoth zord, Adam was at the base remotely making the green mammoth sword a hard illusion. It took a lot of energy and power to create it, but Adam said it was worth it. The green mammoth sword is basically Adam's animal spirit placed inside the ninja star. He entrusted his powers to the rangers. Brody took the green star, held it in Adam's hand, but he was mistaken. It was a green ninja star. Brody excitedly asked if Adam would become the green ninja ranger. Adam said the green ninja ranger star is not for him but for somebody else. He has lost that person. The green mammoth star was actually still in Brody's pocket. Adam took the green ninja star and looked at it in pensive. Redbot said Boom has also been practicing, trying to create his own personal zord through using his animal spirit. But he has been trying before Brody has arrived and so far has not succeeded yet. Sarah volunteered to help Adam in creating another zord so she can share the burden of controlling the next zord, like Haley. But rather than an animal themed zord, this time it will be a tech one, like her zoom zord. As the episode ends, Haley cooked an amazing hot pot for the entire team. We have more episodes where we see the rangers are chilling with their zords, similar to the wild force. These are like their imaginary friends in a way. They can shrink down to size and alter their appearances. Just like how the samurai rangers treated their folding zords. We can see how Brody play with Redbot in many sports. Preston's dragon zord will transform into hand sized dragon where he pets the dragon like a pet while reading to it. Sarah's zoom zord changes itself into a hoverboard. Sarah skateboards the area for entertainment. Haley's Kodiak zord could change into a dog. Calvin's Nitro Zord changes into a car. Calvin washes and waxes his car often. He drives it around the city, exploring the town within. There was a joke where Haley asked if Nitro Zord even had any feelings since it's a car. Calvin says yes. The Nitro Zord does have a personality of its own. It auto cruises the city. It also did a sad auto cruise after hearing what Haley asking if it has any feelings. But later, Haley made up with the car by cleaning its windows. As we learn how the Zords are similar to their imaginary friends, looking after their Zords would strengthen their mastery in creating hard illusions. Currently, the Megazord's formation is highly reliant on Adam and Boom's concentration. In the next episode, Preston has been practicing his sorcery with the book he found. He was trying to show the others the powers of belief in good magic, but the other rangers were skeptical and were unable to comprehend. As Preston has been practicing, he's been seen as a perfectionist to the point where it is annoyingly so. The other rangers were impressed by his powers, but he himself was disappointed in his abilities. Boom had a talk with him. While the other rangers were out as a turtle neo Nylock was detected, what, sorry, wrong clip. Preston was quite stubborn in perfecting his craft. Preston told Boom he felt quite upset since when he was transported to the current dimension, his memories were wiped. He felt ashamed that he couldn't even perform something higher than an elementary level of sorcery. Boom reassured Preston everyone believes he will regain his magical powers. Boom then asked Preston, is what Preston doing truly helping others or just treating it like a magic trick, trying to impress people? In the middle of the battle, the other three rangers were slowed by the turtle Neo Nylock. Back in Preston's training, Boom then tripped and fell. He was caught by Preston's magic before he hit the ground. Preston realized what his teacher taught him, believing in good magic is not for personal gain. After realizing this, he decided he had enough courage to face down the Neo Nylock. Preston faced off the Neo Nylock and used his magic to remove the slowed down spell on Brody. But before he could do the same to the other rangers, the Neo Nylock attacked him. Preston and Brody double team on the turtle monster, weakening it. Brody tried to distract the monster and Preston completed the removal spell and the other rangers are freed. Preston tells the other rangers his spell is only temporary for 30 minutes. To be returned back to normal for good, the turtle Nylock must be destroyed. The rangers delivered a killing blow, destroying the monster. After taking out the second life, the rangers received a ninja star from the monster. Preston thanked Boom but also noticed Boom looks exhausted. Adam explained to them that Boom has been having recurring nightmares where all the SPD rangers were gone and missing. Even Doggy Kruger and Cat were not there. The SPD headquarters were ransacked by Neo Nylox in his nightmares.
okay, Mr. Kello, I accept your challenge, but I don't have the Ninja Steel Morpho, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Ninja Steel, Ranger, reveal! <laughs> 